What's up, YouTube? It's Curly's Victoria. I was in the middle of just working on my goals, and I thought, you know, every time I think I'm ending my videos for the night, like my vlogs or I'm done filming for the night or whatever, I just decide to film again, and it's just like, sis, what? So, obviously, I was just working on some stuff, and I don't know. It just kind of hit me for a little bit. Um... Guys, I want to be successful so bad, like so bad that I'm willing to put in the work. I sit up night after night strategizing, night after night praying, night after night just doing things that could get me further. I've started to, you know, literally I tell you guys that I feel like cleaning your physical environment has a lot to do with how your internal environment is going to go. So as you guys can see, I've just been cleaning, you probably can't see in this portion of the video. The bag on the counter there is because I just bought some more lighters for my candles. Um, but otherwise, I've been doing laundry. I've been literally cleaning throughout the week, um, just deep cleaning and stuff like that. Nothing um, too serious in a day. So I might clean the kitchen one day. I might clean the bathroom and the room. So I've been going through like a lot of clothing for Goodwill, going through like papers. That's the, been the biggest Thing that's been time consuming is going through mail and going through things that need to be shredded and figuring out which companies do I need to call and go paperless it's just been a whole lot so I've been just doing that slowly each day but I've also been working on business each day I've been getting a little further in business and I'm not gonna lie guys I've actually seen myself becoming more disciplined in areas and I'm able to actually you know like applaud myself because i don't give myself enough credit when i do well and i and and this is just i don't know if it's just me always being so hard on myself um and, and i'm not saying hard on myself for people to pity because the biggest you're the person who's gonna go have to go the hardest on you is gonna be you not your mom not your cousin not your sister not your brother not your friend you're gonna have to be hard on you you cannot say, oh, you're being too hard because you you know what you're capable of. So when I say I'm hard on myself, don't think it's like, well, you need to stop because you're doing well. It's like, no, you have to be hard on yourself. When you know you can go harder or you need to be better at something, you got to be hard on yourself. That's the only way you're going to really get to your goals. If I always sweep everything under the rug when I do wrong, like... If I know I wasn't supposed to shop and I go to shop and I'm like justifying it every single time, then that's a problem. So one problem that I do know I have is shopping. I've talked about this in other videos where I shop when I'm happy, I shop when I'm sad. And ultimately, that's just not good. That's like an addiction. That's really an addict. I mean, I'm just being honest. I mean, if we should actually be honest about the things that we need to work on, I'm being honest. I'm not saying that I'm going to stop shopping. I'm not going to be a shopper, but it's just limits. It's boundaries. It's moderation. It's focusing on the bigger goal at hand. Um, I was just writing. I was journaling, actually. You guys know that I've always journaled since I was a kid. So I had realized I stopped journaling as much just, you know, and I decided to actually pick back up on my journaling. I've journaled since I was a kid since I went through middle school, high school, college, and after college. So I thought like, since I'm still, you know, in that state of trying to get to be my best self, I'm gonna journal about my fitness, I'm gonna journal about my business goals, I'm gonna journal about everything. So I've just been trying to get my ducks in a row. I, I've been up super late a lot of nights and I keep saying that I'm gonna rest, but it's not happening. Like, I mean, I'll sleep at night, but I still feel like I have, even when I wake up, sometimes I feel like I'm still exhausted, like I'm lethargic, but I'm not where I want to be. So if you get content being where you don't want to be, then you're going to be where you're going to be. You have to be willing to go hard until what you want becomes it. If you want residual income, if you want financial freedom, if you want the things that you dream about, you think about, you speak about, you read about. The only way to get that is to put in the work. So I put in the work every day. I work toward business. I don't care if it's an hour. Most of the time it's gonna be more than an hour, but minimum an hour every day I do something toward my businesses. Whether I'm posting on the platforms, I'm writing out my business goals, I'm resetting new goals, five-year plans, three-year plans. Um, I'm getting through book contents. I'm figuring out what can I check off my list that I'm already doing that could be checked off like I don't need to do anymore those are the things that 
I basically am doing. So if you're going to want to be successful, then you're going to need to take some of these steps that I'm taking. You might want to do your own thing, but just understand to be successful, you have to establish successful people routines. Um, like I told you guys, my sleeping pattern has been off ever since I became like vegan two and a half years ago. And I, and I bring a lot of stuff back on vegan because this is what I noticed. I know I had nights where I, you know, was up during college. Like, obviously, you got papers to write. You got to work. Like, obviously, during those days, I used to be up all the time. But post-college, there would be nights where I can't sleep. But it wasn't all the time. When I switched my life to plant-based slash vegan, your girl felt like she was having insomnia every night. 72 hours, 24 hours, 48 hours. Wasn't sleeping. To the point where I got a job to wear me out. Like, obviously, I do my little entrepreneurship stuff. But I got a job like a job job um because i needed help to sleep and i felt like if i couldn't sleep can i be making more money so that's what i did but my sleeping was so bad and even now my sleeping can get bad but i'll stay up super late working on stuff and then if i go to sleep and i know i don't have any appointments or i don't have anything like the next day i will set my alarm clock for six to eight hours from the time i fell asleep to ensure that i get proper rest and my routine every day pretty much is the same for fitness but it's just what time if I go to bed tonight at nine o'clock which I'm not but if I did go to bed at nine o'clock then that gives me ample time to actually wake up like seven eight o'clock in the morning and be okay but if I go to sleep at three o'clock in the morning then six to eight hours from three o'clock in the morning is gonna is gonna wake me up at nine or eleven o'clock in the afternoon. So obviously I'm working on being able to go to sleep at a more reasonable time so I can get up early. I want to be able to go to sleep at nighttime um, during the week at like nine o'clock or eight o'clock and wake up at four in the morning so I can get my day started. You know what I mean? That's the type of vibes I'm trying to be on. Um, I used to wake up super early and get my day started, but. Like I said, my sleep habits be, you know, they get affected so much that I can't really control. If I go to bed at 3 o'clock and I wake up at 5, which some days I, I do go to bed like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, wake up at 6, 7 o'clock and go about my day. That's not healthy. That's not healthy. But I want to be able to just wake up in a reasonable time. Even if I only have 6 hours of sleep, that's cool. That's enough to operate off of to go get to the hustle. So I'm working on going to sleep earlier not as late but over the next couple of weeks it'll be shifted just because I have a lot of stuff to get done and that kind of hurt my arm just shifted on this bar but anyway I want to be able to um you know go to sleep at reasonable times because I know everything that I'm supposed to be doing and working on and things like that is already handled um, obviously I don't mind staying up late because if you want to build a brand, if you want to get something off the ground, you're going to have to put in that overtime until you get to where you want to be. Once you get to where you want to be, you don't stop. It's just, you have more control over, okay, I can go to bed tonight because I'm not trying to get my business from having a couple buyers. I'm trying, I'm, I have my business now selling out over thousands of people. You know, those, that's the mindset I have. Oh, I don't want to keep having 10 people buying something here. There are one person buying here or there. I want to know that I'm going to bed and I have a thousand orders that I have to package tomorrow. You see the vibes I'm on? And I was just literally having this conversation about like, you just gotta, you gotta go for what you want and whatever it is you want, you gotta make sacrifices. That means I'm not going out every weekend and it means I'm staying in that house and working on that business plan and those goals because I want to be successful and that's what I'm doing. So I don't look at that as a boring life. I look that look at that as smart and trying to build the life that you want and create generational wealth. So if you want to be successful, I would definitely say subscribe to my channel because on my way to becoming my best self, my better self, you guys can tap in too and hear some advice or maybe even give some advice um, for being successful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I keep saying I'm not making any more videos, but I think this is the last one of the night. I will see you beautiful people in other videos. Make sure you smash the subscribe button and later. It's only 11 something